Hello, beautiful Geminis. Welcome back, everybody. It's just amazing what's going on out here in the bush. I'm doing, uh, we've had a bear appear in the bush line behind us. This morning there was a wolf in the Capricorn Reed calling out as I pulled the wolf card. It was yeah, I would say I'm pretty much in tune here, Geminis. So let's see what's going on for the beautiful Geminis. Who knows? Someone acting pretty cocky. <laughs> I hear a rooster calling. Gemini energy. Just breathe. Stay grounded. Someone's acting foolish, spirit saying, it's turkeys. I hear turkeys, roosters, cocky, arrogant. I don't know. A wise man goes within, spirit saying, what's going on? Ah, the fog is lifting. Somebody had to release something. Shaman, ancient healing and wisdom coming through. Breathing in the forest. Getting back to nurturing yourself, Gaia. Well, there is some karma here. Someone is on a vision quest or needed to go on a vision quest. Somebody is experiencing some kind of karma. Gemini, thank you guys so much for your continued support, your likes, your subscribes. Guys, i got to be real with you. I feel like I'm on a vision quest. I really do. Now, I've done it before. Uh, earlier on in my life, like in my 30s and 40s i definitely was on a vision quest this is not the first time i've isolated myself out in nature you know it's not the first time gemini's it gives you a higher perspective it gets you grounded it brings you back to mother gaia it it allows you to connect with the energies and feel these energies surging through your body. Had to let go of a storyteller to look inside. Great big love. Been broken open. It's like earth magic happening. Someone holds the key to someone's heart. That's why there's karma here. They broke you open. imagination draw from the well of your own capabilities determination perseverance make friends friendships are the alchemy of success face your fears say farewell to the fear phantoms it is time to dance. It is time to play.
ending a trauma. This could have been a trauma bond that Hmm. Hang on. What's going on? What is this fear all about? Who is in fear? What's this trauma? It's karma. It is karma. The key to your fortunes is through your perseverance. This is good karma, good fortune for an empress. It's the ending of a trauma. Healing, holy God, this is destiny. Friendships are the alchemy to success. Did someone withhold or block their friendships, block their success? Out of jealousy, envy, acting like they didn't care. So somebody might come looking for a friend's guidance when they end something with a magician. They're going to come looking for a friend. Ending something, judging a earth angel. An empress. They're in a trauma. This person is in a trauma. They got to end something very traumatic. A very traumatic ending. That's why they're getting their karma. That's the truth. Because they did something foolish. They want to come back to the person that they were. They pushed you away and acted like they didn't care. They could have blocked you. <sighs> Sneaky Emperor. Sneaking around. Huh. 
ego went toward a third party, listening to other people, judging you. And I think that It it's acted like they didn't give a crap. Left you heartbroken, no closure, nothing. Didn't even help you to heal. They just blocked your ass and committed to another lover, getting attention. You know, oh yeah, this will make me look good to everyone. And they walked away from you and blocked you. Walked away. For what? Stuck with a karmic. Well, they resent the karmic. They do. For keeping them stuck. Keeping them in. So what was the point of this person being around, being a sneak, so that they could... See, this person is blind, confused, overwhelmed, angry, frustrated at the karmic. But what do they do? Give the offer to the karmic. Sitting here regretting, ashamed, and I don't know, embarrassed, I don't know. Just cut off all communication. Sudden, just done. Shit hit the fan here. What an arse this person is. Just abandoned you. Maybe left you homeless, left you out. And just like no explanation, no nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Time to play. So what does this tell me, spirit, for real? What does this tell me? What is the answer here? Like, I get the story, guys, but what is the purpose behind this all?
this person doesn't know how to be alone. They don't know how to like, they just ghosted you. Hey, uh, thinking it's all fun and games here, right? I don't get these energies. Like my brain cannot conceive of stuff like this, guys. No explanation, no closure, leave you dead on the road. Absolutely no understanding of what is going on here. None. I don't get the purpose behind it. I know what they did. I just don't get the purpose behind it. What is the purpose behind this person's thinking? Like my brain cannot conceive how people think this way. I don't get it. What the hell? Help me understand, Spirit, this person's thinking. Secrets. <laughs> Settling. That's what they did. They just settled for a karmic energy. They'd rather settle for this karmic than break up with them. It's a trauma bond that they went to. So you guys break up. They're feeling like the victim. They're feeling like the poor me. And they just like settled for karmic energy. And this person was trying to impress you. They're embellishing parts of their life just to impress you, but they're settling. It's about an effort to control behavior. Because they lied to you. Lies, lies, lies. I don't understand it. <laughs> They're trying to control you because they don't trust you. Emotional abuse. They undermine your sense of self-worth and self-esteem. This is a trauma bond that they have with the karmic. It's a trauma bond. And they are settling for less. It's just like easier to get away with lying. Easier to impress someone else than to be real with themselves. They're covering up. They're cheating. You know what I mean? This person is a cover-up. They were making, they had bad motives. They're making secret and underhanded plans. There's heavy flirting via text or sexting taking place. Perhaps cheating. They put you down, they label or judge you to attack your self-esteem. This person is a manipulator. The narcissist, they cheat to feed their own ego and feel entitled to do so. It makes you question yourself. Am I crazy here? Am I imagining things? Is this my intuition or am I just imagining things? Am I overthinking things? Like, they're never going to tell you that they cheat. Not ever. Just saying things to impress you. Always making you feel like they're just settling. You know, this is a form of abuse. 
whether it's there could be physical abuse here it's time to get away if there's physical crap see it's all about cheating they cheated and now they feel regretful but they twist the facts by altering the reality with lies misstatements in order to confuse you this person is a snake or the karmic is a snake. Take it as it resonates. Either your person or the karmic or both. They are trauma bonding together. Vindictive. Always trying to, lying to cause harm or to get revenge. Listen to your intuition. What you feel to be true is true. So for a while, this person even had you questioning your own sanity. Like, is this my intuition or am I imagining things? They don't like losing control due, due to fears of being hurt. This person had you questioning your own mind. It's all a, a game. Now, okay, in all fairness to your person, if it doesn't sound like your person, it is the karmic. Maybe the two of them hooked up via uh, texting, flirting, date sites, stuff like that. But it was, they trauma bonded. That's what it is. They were covering up their, uh, either way, whether it's your person, past person, take it as it resonates. Or the karmic, they are both like-minded. They are both the same. So, they're mind-fucking you. That's what they're doing. But, it's like a trauma bond that they are also making with the karmic. I don't like this person's energy at all. You know, they just ghost you, trash you out there. It's all manipulation. It makes you think that you're the crazy one, yet you know damn well they're cheating. This is a person, unless you catch them red freaking handed, they'll deny it. You're crazy. You're imagining things. They could be calling you stupid, dumb, manipulative, controlling, labels, 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 labels. The whole time they're freaking cheating. And then they settle. They don't want to break up because it's not bad, but it's not great. I don't even like that attitude. They're a liar. Don't matter how you look at it. A snake's a snake. That's venom, man. They twist the facts. 
by altering reality with lies or misstatements in order to confuse you. Half-truths will also do that, if any. They just rather say, you know what? If you say, gee, you know, you've been acting strangely lately or you seem a little detached. Is everything okay? Are you satisfied with me? Anything like that. They go, why? Aren't you satisfied with me? Where were you? Where you where where you been? Who you been talking to? They twist it. And like you sit there confused, going, Well, no, I actually asked you. If you ever confront this person straight up like that, you will never get a straight answer out of them. Not ever. They like control. They do indeed. And maybe you are the one that is healing from ending a trauma, okay? And maybe you've had to do this vision quest. I don't know, but this person, I don't like their attitude. Not a bit. Not a bit. This emperor is a snake. They are. They might be a person who impresses you with a lot of money, but in essence, they don't have a lot of money. They could be going broke trying to impress you, flossing that they got money. They didn't have no money. Oh, wow. they embellish the truth. So no doubt... When the two of you split up, they may have even married the karmic. But they did it by embellishing the truth. They are flossing. They are a fake. Either them, no, I have to say them, spirit saying, they're a fake. Whoever the Empress is, is this Earth Angel, they were judging you. They were labeling you, putting labels on you. person the whole time. I see the game. Spirit is saying, this is a person who, like, if you ever ask them, well, where you been? Like, um, you didn't respond to my text. Like, that was hours ago or something. They go, what are you saying? I'm cheating? You think I'm cheating? You don't trust me, do you? When it's actually them who are the ones that don't trust, it is actually their mirroring. So it's like they're doing it for controlling reasons. So they did deliberately do not respond to your messages. They know you messaged. They're like, make them sweat, make them sweat, make them accuse me, make them say this so I can say that they're crazy. They twist and manipulate. This is a person who answers a question with a question. You can't get a straight answer out of them. And they make you feel guilty for even asking it. What do you think I'm doing out drinking? What do you think I'm doing out cheating? What? Do you, where are you at? Where you been? Where have you been? How come you didn't answer your phone? 
how come you didn't respond to my text? And you'll say, well, you didn't text me. Yes, I did. They'll swear up and down. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Happens all the time. Sometimes messages don't go through. No, they're fucking with your head. Whoa, Gemini's. This was a, a trauma. This traumatized you. But if they actually ghosted you and freaked off somewhere else, that's what they're doing to the next person. Is this a repeat offender? Yeah, Spirit's saying they're a manipulator. They make you feel special by telling you what you want to hear. Someone is casting spells to control the situation. Jesus. Now it's, your person is either karmic or this is the karmic doing this. Maybe they're a magician, like, for real. Or think they are. I can, can control anyone. This is someone who has real, severe, deep insecurities to do that. Now, either the karmic is doing this to them, or they're doing this to the karmic, or if they have done this to each other. They say one thing, but they do another. They're giving you mixed messages. Oh, what a head game. This is severe head games. Unavailable. Now they're either in another relationship or they are emotionally unavailable or both. But whatever they were doing, their mind fucking tried to mind fuck the Empress. <laughs> here they were so you might have said well you know how come you didn't respond to my texts or whatever and they'll answer you back who you been talking to you've been talking to somebody else because they're talking to somebody else so whatever this person said to you or says to you it's because they're actually doing it that's the mirror So if they, they tell you what you want to hear, they tell you sweet things, and then they mind fuck you. Holy crap. Thinking, oh, see? Oh. It's because they're power hungry. They abuse their powers to control the vulnerable. They make you cry. They know you love them. So they prey on your weaknesses. They might have anger problems. Or they have a lot of pent up unresolved anger problems. So they might not even act it out but they do it in other forms. They get even.
Oh, what a character. What a character. I don't know. If you're out of this situation, Gemini, you've just done yourself a freaking bra favor. They did you a favor <laughs> by ghosting you. If they ghosted you, they did you a favor. For real. Breadcrumb, yeah. Mm. Well, I am busy, but I made a special point. Like, they make you worry. So they don't answer their texts. They don't answer things like that. So then you get worried. You're like, oh my God, so what is going on? Maybe they are seeing someone else. They're acting cold. Their personality is different. Jeez, yesterday they were just so kind and they told me all sweet nothings and then they go ghost on me. Well, what is really going on? Something's going on. Your intuition is telling you something's going on. They aren't, res then they don't respond to your texts. Then they make you wait and wait and it gets longer and longer causing suspicion in your mind. Oh. Mm. I don't know. If they married the karmic, they're welcome to with this energy. This is a nasty ass energy, Gemini. If they married a karmic energy or another person, because in this read, it would appear that they are the karmic. In karmic energy. <laughs> Act all defensive. What are you accusing me of cheating? Are you saying that I'm cheating? Are you accusing me of cheating? And if you come straight out and you say, yeah, I think you're cheating on me. They're like, I think you're cheating. That's what I think's going on. <laughs> And then they're always like, when they talk to you, they're saying, where you been? Who you been talking to? Were you talking to somebody? Where you been? So that you feel guilty for like, and you'll tell them the truth. You say, yeah, well, I was talking to so-and-so, or I went here, or I was doing this. Hmm. And then they go ghost on you. So then you behave yourself. Oh, I won't talk to anyone else then. Jesus, they think I'm cheating. So I'm going to not spend so much time with my friends. Or I'm not going to spend so much time with my family. I better be available by that phone, you know, when they call. What a... I was going to swear. <laughs> the P word. So as Spirit's saying, let it go. Enjoy your life, Gemini. It's time for you to dance. It's time for you to celebrate your own life. I don't care. You can rely on yourself. I don't care if you've got children. I don't care if you've married this person. Whatever you're doing. It's just like... Don't let anybody... It's trauma. They're creating trauma in your life. I don't know, maybe because this per person has experienced trauma in their life, like when they were young, like this is family trauma. This is like something they've learned from childhood. 
they might have experienced a lot of trauma when they were a child and maybe that's all they know is trauma. They don't know stability. They don't know how to be stable. This is this person is trauma because that is what they've experienced in their life. They have experienced trauma. So that is what they know. Trauma. But they don't see it. It's for control. Maybe they had an overbearing a mother or maybe their mother neglected them or maybe their mother just closed off their emotions was detached this is someone who never got a lot of love and affection from a, a mother energy or something like that and so they've learned maybe they were raised with a single mom who who just didn't know how to bond or something like that. I don't know. But this person got hurt deeply as a child. And that's all they know. They don't know how to function. It's really sad, actually. Yeah, they've had a lot of hurts, this person. So hurt people hurt others, but they'll never admit it. They'll never admit that they're the ones doing it. Maybe this person... <laughs> was left to beg, like, for food. Maybe their mother couldn't feed them. Maybe they had to beg, borrow, and steal, you know, for food and rely upon community for charity. And, oh, mm. which can lead to a lot of other energy. Maybe their father was unavailable maybe their father spent very little time with them Whatever it did, it caused this person to be stunted in their emotional growth. Like, made them feel very small, very insecure. And maybe they had a lot on their shoulders. You know what I mean? Maybe it taught them to close off their heart chakra. I don't know. They're hanging on to a lot of childhood insecurities that they had. Maybe they had to help their mother out, like, excessively. Maybe they had to, like, help their mother out financially and, and from a small age give, you know, their money to their mother or help their mother pay their bills or, I don't know. Maybe they got mother and father issues. You know what I mean? They've experienced trauma. Hmm. Maybe they were embarrassed by their father's behavior or their mother's behavior. Maybe their mother and father embarrassed them. Maybe they were always drinking, partying. I don't know, man. This person has experienced a lot of trauma in their life.
In order to give trauma, they had to get trauma. That's truth, spirit saying. Like I said, maybe they were forced to steal or act really sneaky. You know what I mean? Maybe they had to steal. Maybe they had to be sneaky and learn to be sneaky. Maybe these, one of their parents passed over and they had to like be, be learned to be, how, how does a little kid support a whole family? If their father died or their mother died or whatever. That's where they learned that sneaky ass behavior. Beg, borrow, and steal. Telling you, this person was relying on others for charity. This person was receiving some... I don't even like that person in that picture. Mm. That's how they learned to breadcrumb. This could lead into a bunch of trauma, if you get what I mean. If this person as a child had to learn to beg, borrow, and steal through life, that's how they learned that stinky behavior. And not everybody who gives to you uh, has a good motive. And this person has encountered that. begging for money so what do i get in exchange here that's truth spirit saying that's where they learn to be dishonest This person experienced a lot of confusion when they were a kid. A lot. They were confused as a kid. This person that I'm reading for knew no other way of survival but to beg, borrow, and steal. They have to live. Okay? Maybe people thought of this person as a thief. You know what I mean? Oh, that little beggar is always begging for food. He's always asking for money. He's like... And maybe they were grieving over the loss of their father. It's like, had to become an adult, like, I don't know what age, could have been at seven years old, ten years old, I don't know. But had to be the provider for the family. Feed themselves. Buy their own clothes. That's how they learned that. It is trauma. This person never got out of it. It is trauma. They went through a lot. That's where they learned to juggle. That's where they learned to be unstable. That they've never had stability. Everything around this person's world crashed in around them. Everything. It's like instant manhood. You go from like child to man in a day. They never, uh, this person never dealt with their trauma. They never dealt with the trauma they experienced as a child. 
they haven't dealt with it. That's their problem. It's sad, really. But no, when it's not you, when this person experienced all this trauma in their life, they never got help for it. They just got handed all the responsibilities of it. They never got to grieve. They never got to mourn. They never got to deal with their traumas of their life and know how to heal those things. They've learned to lie, cheat, steal, and manipulate for a living. They've had... Mm, yet, on the outside, that's why they can't be their true authentic selves, is because they think if they're their true authentic selves, they wouldn't be accepted. If people knew about their past, if people knew about them, they wouldn't be liked. Yet, it's quite the opposite. People would have been willing to be their friend, would have been willing to give them a helping hand. And you know what? If they had a friend and they confided in a friend and their friend betrayed them, that just adds to them uh, not divulging their secrets. This is a person who trauma bonds with people because they've experienced trauma. They're reliving it over and over and over and it's gaining in acceleration it's gaining in motion if this person does not receive help for their trauma they could end up being like sociopathic narcissists they could end up being like uh, because they're getting their rocks off on the power of it It's going, um, it's elevating. It's going from bad to worse. They're doing things out of spite to make other people hurt, wanting revenge on people. They're getting a charge out of mind-fucking people. This person needs to be stopped. This person needs to, they need professional help. That's what it's saying. So, yeah, it's not you, okay? It's not you. There's nothing you could do or come close to doing to this is beyond your pay scale. This is what this is. This person is going to get a wake-up call. Like I said, I knew it's building in momentum. It's brewing, 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 brewing. The waves are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This person acts stone cold. You know what I mean? Like... Sweet as pie one day. Mm. Tell you everything you want to hear. It's a form of manipulation. This person has survivor instincts. Spirit of the wolf. They've had to learn to do everything alone. That's why this person can't handle being lonely. 
they can't handle being alone. This is somebody who has to have friends, family, people around them all the time. They can never be satisfied with just one love. This person is afraid to be alone. Take care, Geminis.